Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the concept of how to count the number of vowels, consonants, digits and white spaces in a given string. So first of all, we all know that the vowels A, E, I, O, U and the remaining are the consonants and the digits the 0 to 9 and the spaces and there may also be special characters but in this, in this program we are just going to count only the vowels, consonants, digits and white spaces. So now the thing is that we have to first declare a given string as a line and then we have to count the vowels consonants so we have just you have to check whether the vowels consonants digit or spaces available so for that the, this is the program so as usual it starts with the hash include stdio.h and int main and open the brace so we are declaring a line as a variable to just to indicate that we are going to have a line of characters okay so now just giving an uh, size of the line is 150 so now line is the character array having the capacity of 150 as the size and now we are having the we are going to count the number of vowels number of consonants number of digits and number of space so what you do we are just making everything as as an integer okay so we are making everything as the integer into vowel consonant and then digit and space and then we are assigning all the values as zero initially there is initially there is no vowel no consonant digit and space so just initializing the values as zero now get the input so how to get the input print the message on the screen so what is the message enter a line of string so print the within double quotes enter the line of string so what you are going to count from and then f getters so this is one actually this is one function which is an fun file get string which is going to get the line and the size of the line and std in this is one std in is the standard input file and then size of is the function which is going to give the size of the line and lines line is the string we are going to input through the this statement okay so this is a new statement we are learning here this is one statement f getters which is then get string function in a file what is the file the file is considered as an input file so whatever the input you are giving through the std in so we know that in std io.h we have std in and std out so here since it is the input we are giving the input the file is taken as an input file so std in this is two parts here std in and std out that is the std io input output and in that we are taking only the std in as the input file and we, from that file we are getting the line as the input and where the file comes from this is from the screen which is the input stream where we are typing the variable through the keyboard okay and now size of the line so this is the function that gets the line it will find out the size of the line and it is getting from the input file okay so now next one the checking it's a very it's simply a checking checking only we are going to check throughout the line so how to check we are using the for loop so start from the for loop int i is equal to 0 that is the starting of the line what you are going to give line of i not equal to null character i have already told in the previous videos this null character indicates the end of the line whenever you type the line of characters and then press enter system automatically just appends a null character at the end of the string this is called as the end of the string character and then plus plus i by incrementing the i variable so now what you are going to check we are going to check for vowels that vowels may be small letter or big letter or capital letter so we are checking for each and every character of the line checking as an a e i o u all the five vowels likewise in capital letters a e i o u so how we are checking line of phi double this double equality is a relational operator this is an assignment operator this is a relational operator okay so that line of i double equal to a or e this this is a pipeline symbol this indicates an r symbol this is an logical or statement so if this is true or this is true or this is true that is the meaning of all statement so we are checking for this whole line checks for the vowels so small a e i o u and again 
that may be capital A, E, I, O, U. I have checked all the whether they are vowels. If that is the case, plus plus vowel. That means we are going to add vowels is equal to vowels plus one. Already we have initiated everything as initialized everything as zero. Vowel is zero, consonant is zero, digit is zero, and space is zero. Initially everything is zero. Now this for loop. The whole for loop checks this line checks for the vowels both small and the capital letters and else if if it's, that is not the vowel it is going to check whether the line of i greater than a and line of z greater than line of i less than z actually what does it mean is between the small letter a and the small letter z or between the capital letter a and capital letter z actually what does it mean is if the variable that is if the first the if the character is not an vowel it will be a consonant we all know that in the alphabets the english alphabets we have a to z in that a to z a e i o u are vowels other than a u i the five letters remaining 21 are consonants okay so since there are only five vowels we are checking as an individual characters in the next line else if else if means if everything is if if the all these vowels is not present naturally it will be a consonant so this line of statement checks else if if this is false the, the statement come to this this statement else if else if what this line of i greater than a and less than z that means the variable is between the value a and z small a and small z and here line i is between capital a and capital z that means the value is between a and z and we can see that all the characters are enclosed by a single character the string is enclosed by a double character so make the make a note on this always this single characters are enclosed by a character there is a single quotes for a character and double quotes for the whole string we all know that string is a collection of characters and now now this lines check the vowels and otherwise this line check the consonants then we are going to check for the digits so what you are going to do else if if it is not a vowel it is not a consonant then it is checked for an numbers so what are the how to check the number the the line of i greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 9 that means the values between 0 and 9 here there is no capital or small numbers so it is simply checking only between 0 and 9 here even though it is a number 0 and 9 for this particular line of statement this is always a character because we are declared as a character array though it is a number for this it is only a character as a character single quotes is given for the number also so don't get confused because this these particular numbers is not used for calculation only for the display which if it is a character constant okay and then if that is the case we have to add digit is equal to digit plus one so next finally if nothing is there we are good with space we are going to check so else if line of i is equal to space for the space i have just given a simple single space character as a space a blank i have left then space is equal to space space plus one so that's all so this for loop repeats and repeats for all the characters in the given line of statement to check whether it is a small letter or big letter vowels otherwise a small letter or big capital letter consonants or otherwise their numbers are there otherwise some spaces are there so only these four cases are considered in this example so after checking the for loop will be closed here and then finally we can we are going to just print the so it is calculated the number of vowels number of consonants number of digits and number of white spaces so how to print it print of using the print statement and the double quotes as usual and the number of vowels how to give the number of vowels percentage d and like it was a number of consonants percentage d then number of digits percentage d and number of space percentage d so these are all the number of vowels consonants digits and space found out from the previous for loop and then his slash n always gives the next line of statement so it will it will just print number of vowels some numbers next line number of consonants next line number of digit next line number of white spaces and finally return zero because it is an int main function so that's all the for program now i'll show the output how it is working out just i have shown as a full program because i have just broken into different parts for the 
for the presentation so this is the whole program I explained you before so getting the inputs just you are declaring the variables assign in, initializing the values as zero getting the line and then getting through the input uh, statement and then this for loop continuous for loop checks for all the small and the big letter uh, capital letter vowels if not it will go for the consonants if not it will go for the numbers if not it will check for the line space and finally printing the number of vowels consonants and then uh, digits and spaces that's all that was, this is the output is shown over here i just given a line of string as will you be there at 12 30 12 o'clock 12, 12 30 clock that's a given one statement as a string so this is the string you can see here vowels it can count you can count here uh, this is number of vowels a e i o u are eight in numbers other than vowels consonants 13 are here and then digits four digits one two three and four digits and then white spaces one two three four five and six white spaces so totally here we can see eight plus 13 21 plus 4, 25 plus 6, 31, but here 33 characters are here. So, to what is 2 is left out is we didn't check for this special symbol and this question mark. If we had checked in the program, it will also come because since we are not checked, it is just giving only the number of vowels, consonants, digits, and white spaces. That's all the program. Hope you understood the concept of how to count the number of digits, vowels, and consonants and spaces in a given string. And thanks for watching.